John F. Kennedy once said that we are tied to the ocean, and when we go back to the sea, whether to sail or to watch, we are going back to whence we came. Motivational quotes involving the ocean are not only great for our social media captions and decor, they also show the connection between people's souls and the saltwater paradise that we have taken for granted. The cobalt world inside our own that we consider our oceans are filled with music, color, and beautiful life. While some people can only call the ocean as a yearly vacation spot or a bucket of cash, it is so much more. I'd first like to discuss cetaceans, which is a classification that includes dolphins, whales, and porpoises. Dolphins have a unique individual name and communicate through clicks and whistles that not only serve as communication amongst other dolphins, but also as echolocation. Whales are also pretty popular animals, separated into tooth whales, orcas as an example, and also baleen whales, which includes blue, humpback, and gray whales. Their songs travel for miles, and their behavior is not entirely understood today. These mammals often suffer from being caught in nets and boat strikes, and while cetaceans vary from not endangered to critical, it is important to enter the welfare. Next, sharks. The majority of people view these fishes as monsters of the deep or aquatic killers with their massive jaws. And while I'm not saying they are friendly by any means, they are not quite the evil creatures that we portray. As apex predators, their existence is vital to keeping a stable cycle of oceanic life. Because of certain characteristics, their slow development and reproduction process, and their fins being a desirable trait, they are facing possible extinction. Because their fins are such a delicacy of soup in Asia, thousands of sharks are caught, removed of their fins, and thrown back in the ocean waters to sink to the ocean floor. However, on a lighter note, there have been laws that prohibit the poaching of sharks and regulations are slowly improving their chances. Last but not least, marine fishes. Most people understand the incredibility of some fishes, like a cuttlefish that constantly changes colors, or an anglerfish with a light on his forehead. But not everyone understands that even fish are in danger. Many fish are dependent upon coral reefs, which are rapidly going extinct. And according to Dr. Richard Smith, around 51 species of fishes have part of their life cycle linked to an anemone, so the impact of bleaching isn't limited to anemone fishes alone. Mm -hmm. Similar to sharks, fish play an essential role in the oceanic life cycle. Over 90% of our oceans are unexplored, left to the mystery of our imagination. Out of 100% of our deep blue seas, only 13% of it can be considered as wilderness due to interference mankind has inflicted, according to Beach. Our marine animals do not abstain from endangerment just because they live in the bottom of our oceans, and coral reefs are not bypassed from destruction, despite their medicinal benefits. According to Marine Bio, each year, three times as much rubbish is dumped into the oceans as the weight of fish caught. In the ninth edition of a marine biology textbook, Castro and Huber state the simple truth that many need to understand. Everywhere, not just along industrial areas, humans are modifying our marine world. Water quality is decreased, fisheries are imperiled, recreational areas are at risk, and new health hazards are developing. Our oceans were not meant to be floating islands of trash and hazard. They are meant to be a gift, a gift that we have nearly destroyed. A century from this current moment, I'd hate for my descendants to see pictures of sharks, dolphins, in a vast blue ocean, and ponder what it is like to see such beautiful blessings, and why we continue to plague the ocean when we were the only ones that could undo our mistake. Thank you.